the only thing I'll say, and it's not, I'm not saying it, boy, I'm hesitant to say this because it's going to be like a thing. Admittedly, you know, it's nervous. You don't want to screw it up. You didn't want to make something and say, wow, why'd you guys do that? You should have just left it alone, you know? Man, I'm in a tiny category right now, my age, and but hanging around, you know, I'm, I probably am a grinder, I guess. This is pretty fun. Uh, no lie, maybe two months ago, we have a Friday family movie night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Beetlejuice was one of the movies. Oh, wow. And then I had no idea I'd be oh, really? with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. I mean, you know, 36 years later, what's it like revisiting this? Fun. I mean, you know, I, I, people keep asking me, and I, I, I don't have a better answer. That was really fun. Uh, admittedly, you know, it's nervous. You don't want to screw it up and you don't want to be the one guy who screws it up uh, so the, I was a little nervous but but once it didn't take long for all of us and also I had the advantage of Tim really clearly clearly knew what he was gonna do I mean we, we, we didn't we shot it almost like an independent movie we didn't have that many days so everything was moving at a rapid pace which he and I both like moving, moving quickly but after a while after the first hour maybe not even maybe, you know, we kind of just started clicking back into it and then it was like making the first one, but just as, as much fun, if not more. <laughs> I need you to help me save my daughter. But how do I know that you're going to keep your word? I swear on my dead mother's soul. <laughs> Bob, you and the boys stand guard. Nobody gets through. Did the character ever leave you? Because it has, has been a long time. Where I, yeah. I can't imagine you just walk around the house throughout the years, <laughs> you know, speaking in Beetlejuice's character. <laughs> no, no, but in a way I went, wow, what did I get myself into? I just made this thing up. And then me and Tim and I just committed to it totally. And then it just got even bigger and crazier as we were shooting the first one. I thought, wow, now I gotta, I gotta go back and think. So I gotta go back and watch it again. Thank God, like a couple weeks before, I thought, geez, I better look at this again. Tim told me, us, a bunch of, he didn't even look at the first one. When he, he hadn't seen it in years. He just knew what he wanted to do in this one, which is mind-blowing to me. How would you describe Tim Burton's genius or his mind? Because the, the, some of the things that he dreams up, like yeah. <laughs> nobody else could dream up. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, he. I, I think about that, I've seen his art shows, and you know, obviously know him well now, but uh, it's the, some of the most interesting parts of his uh, exhibits are in a, in a gallery anywhere or in a museum, or when he was a teenager. To me, I, I always love that part. I go, wow, there's some kid out in Burbank, California, you know, designing and drawing the, the, this stuff, you know, and I, that's, that's wild it's it's just unlike anyone else's you know you were a part of my childhood from Beetlejuice to Batman I was in elementary school and yeah now I'm yeah. talking to you again and and it seems like you've had I mean I hate the word resurgence I guess I should say you're more active now we're seeing you yeah. in in films what's it like being a seasoned actor and now you know I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you everywhere again yeah yeah well grateful because I'm in a tiny tiny percentile you know somewhere a long time ago I read or someone told me, I guess, I don't know. If you take all, everyone who acts, actors, you know, from any, you know, theater, to TV, to, you know, in unions, not in unions, the, 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 the percentage of people who actually can make a living, it's really small. You know, it's hard. It's a hard job to, you know, make a living. And, you know, at this point, it's, it's I mean, I'm, I'm proud of it, but also I'm grateful. That, so, man, I'm in a tiny category right now, my age, and but hanging around, you know, I'm, I probably am a grinder, I guess. I guess uh, I'm not sure. But that's probably what it is. But, but grateful, you know, having fun. Grateful to have the, the chance. Do you understand? Because you know, like I said, you're a part of my childhood yeah, and so many yeah. others. Like the impact that you and some of your roles have had on on people like me who could have never imagined that you know I'd be talking to you now. Yeah, I don't think I understand. I understand. 
because you're I, Batman to me. Yeah, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, I kind of think that's very cool, but I don't understand. I don't understand. Not like I don't understand why. I just go, I, I'm not. I can't be you. But I think it's real. I think it's really interesting. Like, how old were you when you saw Beetlejuice? I mean, looking at that, I probably saw it afterward because yeah, I yeah. would have been four, I think, right. or five. And when how it came old out. you? Do you remember roughly when you said, "Okay, your mom or dad or or, whoever, or you just chose to see it"? You you, you saw it at that, that age? Do you I probably think? saw it when it came on VHS. So yeah, it was probably six. Or yeah, something. six, which is young for that movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, when you look back, do you go, "Whoa, I should have never looked at that at six. That was beyond me." Or or did you flinch or just look at it and go, "This is cool." I remember some parts must have scared you. Yeah, some part. I yeah. just remember at school us saying, "Hey, have you, you know, seen don't that? no, don't say Beetlejuice." <laughs> that's that's what people used to say. And <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> that little kids actually believe it. I love that. <laughs> um, in terms of you know, obviously this is expected to do really well. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously Hollywood has all these projections and things like yeah. that, and it's going to do awesome for a sequel. But I'm just wondering, in general, you know, Hollywood does do a lot of sequels. Yeah. And sometimes. The thought is that it might be lazy writing, or not necessarily with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, but with other films. Like, do you think we're we're seeing too many sequels instead of like originals? Oh boy, I don't know. That's not for me to judge. Tim said something the other day. I didn't think about. He said we were the the, the whole idea of franchise. Nobody even used the word franchise when mm -hmm. by, when we were making Beetlejuice or Batman or anything. That wasn't a. It's now a thing. I totally understand it from a you know business point of view it makes sense to me you know people say wait a minute you know i'm in the business i'm i'm a corporation you know we got to make some money so let's do this in terms of but sequels are tricky and the thing about this one that tim and i were ultra clear about from the get-go was i said to him i i shouldn't be in it if i'm in it a little bit longer it can't be more than like a minute longer like don't say oh he was really great and he did those funny things let's let's give him a lot more i said we'll make a huge mistake if you put me in it more mm -hmm. and he said i agree and also we said and let's make it handmade let's not use too much technology and he said i'm i'm way ahead of he he already felt the same way so that was you didn't want to make something and say, wow, why did you guys do that? You should have just left it alone, you know? It was a cool thing, you know? We didn't, we didn't do it for the money. We wanted to see if we could do it again, you know? In terms of, like, just your characters, right? I mentioned Batman. I mentioned Beetlejuice. Is there a character in pop culture or even superhero character that you would consider playing? Because obviously, you know, Bat Batman has been recast yeah, yeah. and will be forever. Sure. Is there something that you've ever thought, like, man, I would, I would love to do that? Something that we recognize easily. Um, the only thing I'll say, when they asked me to play Vulture, I found it interesting. I don't, I don't really know... I don't know much about the culture of pulp. Of uh, I was a, I wasn't a comic book kid. I read. I loved to read, and I loved, you know, reading stories. But th that I wasn't like a collector or anything. But when I did that, what was interesting to him, about him was kind of what was interesting about Bruce Wayne. He was just this person, you know. And through circumstances, he be, he said, "I I need to make stuff." You know, <laughs> that was the thing about, you know, I never worried about people said playing batman i thought i never looked at it i won't i didn't even want to tell people this until recently i said i didn't even think for a minute about batman it was about bruce wayne who's that guy you know whew, that's 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 an interesting person and, and vulture is interesting in that regard you know he felt uh he felt like the world wasn't looking out for him you know he had a resentment you know uh, um so it was grounded in kind of an interesting take and then he had his boys, you know, has his boys working with him, you know, and they made it, you know, like, I got my boy Bo Keem, you know, and he's like, I like that his gang, you know, his, bad, his gang that he threw together, you know. I, I just like the notion of a person like that. Otherwise, uh, so if somebody, do you want to do that again? I go, nah, probably not, but maybe, I don't know, you know, if somebody shows me something cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, like I said, my my six, seven year old self would never believe that I'm talking to, to Beetlejuice and Batman. <laughs> well, so say hey thank to you him. for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him we'll thank you for the time. Right, I man. appreciate it.